pasta, namely spaghetti. One of the few dishes that is uh, good the next day, sometimes even better. All right, so we got a pound and a quarter of ground beef there. Got some onions cooking. Got my green peppers and more onions chopped up. And I got these two things of tomato sauce. I got um, one is fire roasted and fire roasted tomato and garlic. The other one is traditional sweet basil. So I'll mix those two together with the green peppers, fresh green pepper, fresh onion, with the ground beef. And um, I got mushrooms as well, they some bellas. Also have right there cilantro. And then I have these cheeses right here. I got one, this Parmesan right here. And then I have, now this was in the cold section. Then this right here was by the spaghetti stuff. This type of cheese with, yeah, three cheeses, Parmesan, Asago, Romano. So, I don't know, get them, give them a try. I got some fancy noodles here too. Rosani's. And um, you hear the uh, onions here. They're starting to pop, so let me give these a stir. Now I'll add the ground beef and start cooking it. Let me add a little bit more oil. I'm using some fancy olive oil and other kind of mixture. I right, am we go. Where is it at? Right here. Is it mozzarella? Blend of corn and granola? No. I have that. Got some of that. I got some fancy stuff here. I'll just use this. Uh, this is right here granola and virgin olive oil. Right there. Uh, there you go. I'll use this oil. So let me pull this in here and then I'll start adding the meat. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so if you haven't guessed by now, yes, we are making spaghetti for tonight. All of that just for me. I'll put everything in there. That's why I'll cook it when I cook with the sauce. I'll cook in that pan. But yes, I'm using cast iron skillet to cook the ground beef up first. With some onions. I didn't, I thought I had garlic, fresh garlic, but apparently I ran out of fresh garlic. So no fresh garlic. I may use a little bit of garlic powder, but maybe not. Fresh ingredients all the way around pretty much. But yeah, also like eating raw onion. Once in a while. Well, the phone's ringing, so let me go cook this, see what that's going on. All right, later, guys. All right, so I've um, got everything mixed into the pot here. Starting to cook. You can see those um, cut green peppers in there. See that tomato right there? Pretty thick sauce. Yeah, ground beef's in there. Got a pound and a quarter. And of course, um, sweet tea. You can't have spaghetti on a Friday night without sweet tea. So anyways, I'm gonna let this cook for a bit. I got a little thing of water there, a little small pot of water to uh, cut the spaghetti noodles in. So I'll see you guys in a, in a while. Okay, so I opened up this home style three cheeses and I tried it and it's actually really, really good. So. I can't wait to uh, put it on spaghetti tonight. So if you get a chance, you see it in the aisle grocery store, check it out. It's actually pretty good. There you go. Three cheeses, Parmesan, Asago, Romano. Won't be disappointed. So as you can tell with the mess on the floor and the um, space underneath the kitchen sink cleaned out, we are going to be replacing this kitchen sink faucet today. I already have the uh, new one right over here, a mowing, nice fancy one, and a couple hundred dollars. But yeah, that's what we're doing today, replacing that, and it's going to be fun, real fun. At least I got some uh, good spaghetti to eat.
for lunch before I tackle it. All right, y'all, wish me luck. I have to get under there, by the way. Yeah. Wish me luck. Later, guys.